Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 kind of video. I say kind of, because when, again, once again we're not actually like looking at proper gameplay. Well, technically we are through this, but... I thought that um, since they're doing these teasers leading up to the Witch Queen that we take a look at some of them. Uh, especially because there's at least six now. Yeah, and they're all uploads to um, your man's channel here. So, you know, give him a watch. I want to say his name, but I can't remember if I can pronounce it. So I'm going to hold off annoying a bunch of people. And as you can see here, here's all the videos. I think that these are all the current ones up as well. Unless we go to this one and there's like another few. But. So, quite simply, we're just going to watch the video and we're going to pick it apart. Now, I'm not going to play the trailer like fully through then talk about it i'd rather just like talk about it as it's playing so if you really want to you should probably go watch these like individually if you want so yeah without further ado guys let's go so of course <laughs> i should have mentioned that at first we, we could already talk about that so survive the truth obviously when it comes to the witch queen and whatnot the um there's this like kind of big build up of like we need to discover the truth and i guess it's because you know sabathun stole the light and stuff yeah, it's a pretty big deal, isn't it? When you kind of think about it. Like, especially when you start questioning, like, is this light real? Is it just in Sabathun's mind? Because in one of the trailers, she kind of says, like, the throne world is, a, like, a exact copy or something of her mind. Or, like, it's, it's basically in her mind or something like that. You know, it's kind of confusing lingo like that. I'm sure, like, uh, the lore nerds will be able to describe that a bit better than me. But... Yeah, and in the background, I, as I was talking, I just noticed, obviously, we have the Witch Queen logo. Up here, we have, I think they're totems, or maybe they're the Shriekers. Uh, let, let's play it a bit more. Nah, we're, we're starting to lose everything. That's obviously the throne world itself. Okay, we, we got a flash there. I don't know if you saw that. What has she become? And uh, uh, the simple answer is, she's become a guardian, basically. She's become a light wielder. Obviously, Sabathun herself. You know, not, not really much else to talk about on that. I don't know if the numbers are anything, but here they are. And people noticed as well, there's this symbol here, which I think are meant to be like uh, hive worms going in towards like an orb in the center. I think people are saying that's meant to represent like the worm gods going after the traveler or something like that. Uh, we also have symbols here, which I have literally no clue what they are. And obviously we have like the string connecting like every file and picture on this board. More numbers and stuff to keep in mind. We have pyramids uh, pyramids yes joe triangles and then we have 16 there as well i don't know if we just missed something in between there that's osiris i think that's Os yeah that's osiris not sure what it might be throne world i'm not sure that's definitely the throne world like a statue in the throne world that's that looks like a descendant blight with like hive calligraphy i think it's called around it no clue what that is don't know what that is. Uh, deceived us, how long? To be fair, yeah, like, we apparently didn't know Osiris was uh, Sabathun the entire time. Again, Osiris being in the background there. It's kind of mad that, I'd, like, it was only, like, I think it was, like, seen as a splicer when we really knew, okay, Sabathun is definitely, like, taking Osiris' place, you know? It's kind of mad when we got to that revelation at that point, you know? Again, all these numbers and stuff, they, like, as somebody said before, Bungie would never just do these without giving them meaning so they probably have something that's why i'm stopping on the frames in case you want to take them all down you know we're just missing a zero here but you know it'll be cool oh wait key to the symbols so yeah there's been some deciphering going along here with um whoever's like on this board i think it was meant to be ikora or something but i think one of the later teasers shows like ikora actually breaking down um or being broken down and say like what well like what's with her and what's on with her and what she's up to and so on and so forth what she thinks the whole thing i think that was from Season of the Arrivals. What's that? Yeah, Season of the Arrivals. That was the cutscene. There's Eris, Savala. Again, the whole cutscene playing out. There's <laughs> Osiris being a sussy baka. A uh, symbol or number, should I mention again? I think that's the same as what was at the start, so that probably means something. That's an element or maybe two elements that are put together. Yeah, keep going from there. There's Sabathun. Light stolen. Though that kind of reminds me of Kala stuff, actually. But I'm not 100% on that. It's been ages since I've seen Leviathan symbology, so. How and why, indeed? Because I don't even think we even know. More on the Leviathan. I think this might be like a Galran picture. Uh, so, more on the Leviathan. Killed by Emperor. Is that killed? Or looked? Something like that? 
There's a hive ghost. Same symbol again. Yeah, see, if we see it here now, it looks a bit clearer. It definitely does look like Galran from the Crown of Sorrows. I actually kind of wish that was back. That was, that was a cool, um, I was going to say strike. Cool raid. Jeez, don't jump scare me like that. Wait, was there glitches just there? I think there was literally just a glitch there. Oh, something there. I can't tell what it is because it's too blurry. How? Oh, they, yeah, they are Shriekers. I can see the thing there now. So obviously that's uh, Oryx. That's um, Zebo Raph. That's Savathun. Vengeance. And then it shows like different hive faces there. There's the Oryx cutscene. Or Oryx. Here's Crow. Was there something back there? No. I feel like it might be, but might be looking too deep into it. What has she become? She has become a light bearer. A <laughs> thief. You never know, maybe she asked nicely and she got the light. Okay. I know I kind of let that one just play out, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else to mention in that. Right, so honestly, very interesting. Obviously, for the start, it's been a while actually since I've seen this one. Um, What day did he upload this? 25th. So yeah, it's been months since this first initial teaser came out. So, right, so as I went over the first trailer, I realized there'd probably be a bit more time to go over the second trailer before I uh, call it a video. So, I've opened the second teaser, and this is also the next day, by the way, because uh, in the description, He's already added the uh, seventh teaser, which I actually saw on Instagram this morning, so yeah. Honestly, without further ado, we might as well just get into this, so. This one is Vanguard Investigations Stolen Light, as it says here as well. Okay, just before, I know, it's the start again, I know, this is kind of like a meme. But like, here we have, uh, this is probably going to be shown later anyway in the video, but I'm going to talk about it now. Uh, I think that's the Wayfinder's Compass, because that looks ascendant -y. That's obviously the um, Darkness statue that you can find in various locations, like the, you um, can find it in the Garden Salvation Raid. You can find that in the Deepstone Crypt. I won't be surprised if you can find this in the new raid as well, because where has that statue not been in recent raid time? Uh, that's the arrivals room you get teleported to at one point. That looks like Titan. Obviously, there's pyramid symbology around. Here's AE, 206 point something something. I think that's meant to be an element kind of number. Well, not an element, but an important number, maybe similar. Like, I'd say like a sciencey kind of number. Wait, right, sorry, let's keep going. So here we have the image I was already uh, paused at before. So we have a hive, hive ghosts. I'm not sure what I'm seeing down here. I think it might be the three of them together. Sabathun and uh, her sisters, uh, brother and sister technically. That that gave me like Dreadnought vibes at first until I realized the color of it is probably Sabathun's throne world. So, uh, yeah, nothing else to note, so let's keep going. Again, here's a big list of numbers 2007. Confirmed we, are <laughs> Confirmed, we are traveling back in time for this DLC. No, obviously, we're not. Here's the ghost stuff again. Uh, something circled here. I don't know what this is, but it's probably like a camera that's taken six images of a certain place. Or maybe it's six different locations that pictures have been taken from. May it could be like maybe uh, six different locations that had the pyramid chip. I don't know why I thought of that randomly, but I think it's because like one of this looks like um, Io. I don't know why, but I've seen like the statue, darkness statue that we saw a bit ago. It, it probably isn't. I'm just kind of talking out my own um, behind. And yeah, there's nothing else to talk about there. Oh man, Curse of Osiris, let's go. So again, remember we got all that. I think it's the same as yesterday, even the number might be the same. And we have to note as well, the three different ghosts they showed us there, in particular, our ghost, Sagira. And then, um, Glint, there we go. We have them three ghosts in particular, and then they go through, like, a reel of the ghosts, but, like, that it's just, well, I say a reel of the ghosts, but it goes through, like, you know, um, things still being alive. Which, it's probably significant in and upon itself. I'd say, like, they're trying to sh tell us, yeah, these three ghosts have something to do with this next DLC. Obviously, our ghost is 
like a ghost that's allowed us to use the darkness and stuff and we're going to be facing Savathun with him anyway. When it comes to Glint, he's with Crow and obviously Savathun's done something to Crow. That's why he's still kind of, well, not really missing. He's just like exploring the world on his own now. And whatchamacallit, there's one last thing. Oh yeah, Sagira's ghost is, well, meant to be dead. So again, the significance of that? It's probably that uh, she has her ghost now. Yeah, so Osiris' ghost and is using it for, uh, her, for, for... To be a guardian. Sorry, I can't talk today. That was different. I don't think I've ever seen that be read. Abomination. Nah, they're just... They're kind of snazzy looking shells if I'm being real with you. I wish like that was the pre-order bonus. Like, <laughs> It would have been so cool. Now we see a bit from the trailer. I don't think we've missed anything back there. Light bears, so these are the Hive Guardians. Uh, yes, of course, it's her brood. I don't think there's anything else to note here. For a second, I thought that was the Exo Stranger's fish, but obviously it's not. We have like a hunter uh, acolyte down here as well. And I do believe that's another hunter acolyte. That looks different. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, again, numbers. Who is that knight? I feel like that's a special kind of knight. Probably stolen. As I said in the last clip, maybe it's not. To be fair, they do look sick like. There's something here. I don't know what that is, but it reminds me of a hunter. And then I think that's the, another hive knight maybe. The darkness, who does she serve? She could just serve herself. Oh, that's the, um, when you're in the Aspects and Fragments menu for Stasis. That's, this is from Arrivals, these two, uh, Season of the Arrivals. That's the public event that was Gambit, uh, Gambit like, should I say. And this is the uh, Tree of Silver Wings, where Osiris planted the seed initially, and it started growing in Io, and then the pyramid came above it and kind of corrupted the rest of the branches and stuff. That says Io in the back, so obviously we're looking at Io, and obviously this is literally on Io as well, all of this, so... I don't know why that kind of looks like Mars, but it probably is meant to be Io as well, since we're kind of sticking to that theme here. Um, I've no clue what that is. That kind of gives me Leviathan vibes, I don't know why. Numbers again. I think it said GPS. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'll stop. Uh, yeah, that said GPS. Maybe there's like each number is a coordinate or something. So we got Elsie, the Dark Vanguard. Her master, probably not. As far as we know from lore. Oh. Oh yeah, no, the the glitchy glitching is literally um just when they change scene. By the way, if you're wondering where that cutscene's from, that's from the Red War campaign. It's actually the second, third cutscene that plays. It's basically the one where when your guardian gets booted off the ship. Uh, I think it plays then, obviously. Um, probably her enemy, yeah. I'd say it's very likely the darkness is her enemy. That's why she wants... Or she has the light and wants to keep it. Obviously, that's from Shadowkeep, by the way. Voice in the darkness, which is the one we already looked at. Yeah, I was right. That's the Wayfinder's Compass. I love the way no map mentioned a callus there, but to be fair, who knows, man, where he is. I think that's, like, a, a, the director from Destiny 1. That looks very similar to it, or at least from a cutscene. Like a screenshot from a cutscene. That was from Season of... Well, it's Joker's Wild DLC, that's it. Uh, obviously, that quick thing was from the end of... Season of the Worthy, I think it was, and the start of Season of the Arrivals when the pyramids were first coming to uh, the solar system. And obviously this is the end of Shadowkeep, I think, with Eris going to Thing. That was when the start of Season of the Arrivals, when Rasputin shut down. This was at the end of the Red War... I sound like such a nerd, I'm sorry. But this is the end of the Red War campaign. This is obviously in the pyramid on the moon. Probably not the entity, but probably a representation of what uh, they think is the entity or how we perceive the entity probably being. Be interesting, you know, think about it like that. 
Right, this time I'll let it play, because it's, it's just going to go... So, I think that'll do for the an analysis of these uh, little teasers. Thank you, Guardian, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment on your thoughts on the Witch Queen and these two teasers that we've watched so far. Subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll see you, Guardians, again in another video.